Hi guys! So you'll notice I'm wearing the same shirt I was in the last video. Um, filmed on the same day. Not gonna lie about that. I know people freak out about that sometimes. Uh, I just wanted to knock out a couple videos today so I have some to put up for the rest of the week. Um, but also because of something that's going to be happening tomorrow. Um, I wanted you guys to meet the kitties that live in Treasure Cave. They are very important to us. They are family members. Uh, they mean a lot to us. So I wanted to introduce you to those family members. Um, the sad news is that one of our kitties is going to the Rainbow Bridge tomorrow. Um, she's been declining in health and recently started having seizures again. And she's old. So... It's just her time, and it's sad, and I wanted her to be a part of this video just because she's been a part of my life for 15 years. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to all three, and I'll give you a little blurb on each one. Okay, so this is my Phoebe. Yeah, hi Phoebe. You're on YouTube. You fat lug. So this is our girl that is going to be going to the Rainbow Bridge tomorrow. Um, don't mind her neck. I don't understand why her of all three, when she had her collar on, it was just making her go bald. So I actually took that collar off a couple months ago and the hair's not even growing back. But it doesn't matter at this point. Um, like I said, she's 15. She has had epilepsy since she was three. Um, she used to be on daily meds for that, but I had gotten her to a point where she has not had a seizure in five years, and she was doing well off medications. It seemed that our move into the apartment really helped things. Um, we also changed the way that we fed her, but just the other day while she was napping with me, she had a seizure randomly, and that's never happened before where she didn't even have a trigger. So that just tells me that she's declining and is not going to be doing well moving forward, and I don't want her to suffer. And unfortunately, when she seizures, she also urinates on herself. And because we are renters, I can't really have her randomly falling over and urinating on the carpet and the furniture and all of that stuff. So it's it's unfortunate, but she lived a very, very long life. Um, I actually am impressed that she lasted this long, given her medical history. So um, 15 is not bad for a cat, especially one that's been through a lot of medical stuff in their life. Um, her brain is pretty fried from the seizures that she's had. Hi! Yeah, talking about you. I don't know why she likes to lay on the floor in our hallway. Uh, it might be cooler on the floor, I'm not sure. But <laughs> she likes to lay here and put her feet on the walls. So it's just a, a weirdism of Phoebe. Um, her, her full name is Phoebe Buffet from the show Friends. And then I used to have two male cats named Chandler Bing and um, you know, Chandler Bing. And then I had two foster kittens that were Ross and Rachel. And then I also had another male cat named Ronald Howard. Uh, my two male cats are now living with my best friend. I couldn't keep all six of my kitties when I moved into an apartment. Um, technically... This one is not even supposed to be here. My limit is two, but um, I didn't want to have to put her down merely because an apartment complex told me to. So we have hidden her for three years. Um, I've given her as much life as I could. So um, I'm sad, but I know that it's the right thing, and she told me when it was time so, um, we will miss her very much. Um, and then her, her calico sister that I'm going to show you will also miss her because they've basically known each other since they were two months old, so they've also been together for 15 years, so I'm sure that our other kitty is going to be grieving as well. But, you got anything to say to the camera, Phoebe? Hi. 
Yeah. We're gonna try to make your trip to the bridge as stress-free as possible, okay? And she got to have some yummy wet food yesterday. So, I'm probably gonna brush her again today. She has trouble grooming herself. So we're going to make her last day a good day. And then she will not be suffering anymore. Thank you, Phoebe. Now this is my special angel. This is Catalina. Yes, Catalina. Yeah. She is also 15. She's the one that's bonded to Phoebe. And so she's going to be sad when her sister's gone. She's doing quite a bit better um, medically than her sister, despite being the same age. She's actually doing very well, and she does not show her age as well. Um, so I'm happy about that, because I need this cat to be around for as long as possible. Um, like I said, I have illnesses, and Catalina is actually my service cat. She has trained herself to take care of me and alert me of certain medical problems. Um, I also suffer from a seizure disorder and a heart problem that can make me pass out. So she has learned to alert me to those things. She comforts me. She comes running if I yell for help. She'll seek out other humans if I'm in trouble. She'll run to get me help. Um, she is an absolute blessing in my life, and she's been with me through everything in the past 15 years, so she is my best friend, and I hope that I don't have to say goodbye to her anytime soon. Um, so she is the most phenomenal cat I've ever met. She is so smart, so loyal. She really impresses me every day. Right, baby? Hey! Hi. You got anything to say? You're my talker. You love to have conversations. You don't have anything to say to YouTube? Huh? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. She also, um, I don't know if we can see it because she's on her little fluffy rug, but she has extra toes. So she's what is called a polydactyl kitty or a Hemingway cat because all of the cats that live on Hemingway's property in the Florida Keys also have extra toes. So she has, can mama see your paw? Let me see. I know. You don't like me touching. Well, if you can see her little thumbs, she's got little thumbs. It's just her front feet. She's got about two extra digits that kind of look like one giant thumb. So that makes her special too. Thank you. Thank you for showing. Okay, now we're going to move on to your little sister. And last but not least, our tiniest girl. This is Josie. She is only five pounds full grown, and she's all hair. So I bet if I shaved her, she would weigh less. Uh, she's our feistiest little girl. She's our best hunter, even though we don't let her hunt. She's just very good at stalking toys and things and bugs. Um, she's actually Dan's favorite girl. They kind of fell in love when Dan and I fell in love. He was actually not even a cat person when we met. And this little one weaseled her way into his heart. And they are best buds. They have a really good bond with each other. As you can tell, she is our typical independent kitty. She, she gives... No cares that I'm sitting here filming her. She could care less. She's in her own little cat world. She's just going to clean herself. Uh, she's super adorable. We call her a Muppet or a Beanie Baby because she's kind of just like a live stuffed animal. She's tiny and cuddly. We absolutely love cuddling with her. And her age is 12. So she's getting up there too, but she's doing well. They all kind of have some arthritis, um, but overall, at least Catalina and Josie are quite healthy. Don't mind the hair on the couch cover, that's why we cover the couch. Jos. Hey, Josie. Hey. 
yeah, you're you're on camera and you're just you don't care. But that's typical. But if I rub your neck, yeah, she loves her neck rubbed. She's got a spot. Let's see if we can get her leg going. There we go. That's her spot. She loves her head and her neck scratched. There you go. All right. Thank you for your debut. You can go back to cleaning yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had just wanted you to meet the little furs. Um, they are important. You'll probably see them walking around behind me or next to me in videos. Uh, especially if I sit down in my living room for my tutorial. I am picturing at least one of them jumping up on the table in front of the camera. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if they leave me alone for that. But um, I am going to feel significant pain tomorrow with losing Phoebe. So, um, thoughts and prayers are welcome for me and for her. Um, it's the worst part about having pets is the goodbye. Because they do become family members and they do become friends. So it's, it's hard and I'm sure that anybody that's ever owned a pet or lost a pet understands. But, um, I, I wanted her to be a part of this video. I would have felt bad if I waited until after she was gone to introduce the cats. Um, so I hope you enjoyed meeting my babies, and I'm sure you'll see them at some point in the future. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.